Hello, I am Rahish. Today I am discussing about India's nuclear missiles. On the occasion of Republic of India's Republic Day, we celebrate our quest for freedom and our achievements as one great nation. Today, India is becoming a global superpower. India is a nuclear state since 1974 and today India is more than just a nuclear state. India has become a nuclear triad and India's missiles form a crucial part of India's nuclear triad. India's first nuclear-capable missile was Prithvi-1, first launched in 1988. Prithvi-1 had a range of 150 kilometers and it was a single-stage liquid-fueled surface-to-surface tactical ballistic missile. It used hypergolic propellants. Prithvi-1 was developed for the Indian Army. By now, the Indian Army has replaced Prithvi-1 with more advanced Prahar missiles and thus all the Prithvi-1 missiles are being upgraded. Prithvi-2 missiles are developed for the Indian Air Force. Prithvi-2 missiles have a range of 250 km to 350 km. This is also a single-stage liquid-fueled missile. Prithvi-3 is a two-stage surface-to-surface missile, first stage being solid and second stage being liquid-fueled. It has a range of 350 km to 750 km. A version of Prithvi-3 is also developed for the Indian Navy called Dhanush. Both missiles are identical. Prithvi missiles are also a part of India's anti-ballistic missile system. A version of Prithvi missile was also used for Mission Shakti, India's ASAC test. Prithvi was the first missile developed by India. Prithvi was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP of the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. The program was headed by India's missile man, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Later, Dr. Kalam also became India's 11th president. In IGMDP, five different missile systems were developed simultaneously. Those are Prithvi, a short-range surface-to-air missile, Trishul, a medium-range surface-to-air missile Akash, a third-generation anti-tank missile Nag, and a re-entry technology demonstrator Agni, which would eventually evolve to become India's nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missile. The first Agni missile, which was tested in 1989, has a range of 2,000 km to 3,500 km. Today this missile is called Agni-2, but this is indeed the first Agni missile. Today's Agni-1 was developed after the Kargil War, when the need was felt of having a nuclear-capable missile of 700 km to 1000 km range. Agni-2, or the original Agni missile, is a two-stage missile with a solid propellant first stage derived from the SLV-3 of ISRO and a second stage derived from the Prithvi-1 missile. Interestingly, the first stage of Agni-2 is derived from the satellite launch vehicle 3's first stage and SLV-3's first stage was also used in the augmented satellite launch vehicle ASLV and in the standard version of the polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV as strap-on motors. But now they have been replaced by new strap-on motors. It was also used to launch the reusable launch vehicle technology demonstrator RLV-TD in 2016. Agni-1 is a single-stage solid-fueled missile with a range of 700 km to 1,200 km. Another missile derived from Agni-2 is Agni-4. Agni-4 was developed to bridge the gap between the Agni-2 and Agni-3. Agni-4 has a range of 3,500 km to 4,000 km. It is also a two-stage solid-fueled missile. Unlike Agni-4, Agni-3 is a complete redesign. It has a range of 3,000 km to 5,000 km. This is also a two-stage solid-fueled missile, but it is much more larger than Agni-2 or Agni-4, giving Agni-3 larger range. Agni-3 became the basis for India's first intercontinental ballistic missile, the Agni-5. Agni-5 is a three-stage solid-fueled missile. Its first stage is similar to Agni-3 with an advanced second stage and an added third stage, 
which give this missile the range of 5,000 kilometers to 8,000 kilometers. Not only that, Agni-5 is world's most accurate ICBM with a CEP circular error probability which is the accuracy of missiles of less than 10 meters. Agni-5 missile is also very mobile. It can be transported by truck and launched from a canisterized launcher. After the success of Agni-5, DRDO has started the development of Agni-6 with a range of more than 12,000 kilometers. A replacement for Agni-1 is also being developed called Agni-1 Prime, which was tested twice in 2021. In this, many new technologies are derived from Agni-4 and Agni-5. Derived from these Agni missiles are the missiles of the K-series. These missiles are submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs. These are nuclear-capable as well. As the name suggests, these are launched by nuclear submarines from underwater. This missile series is named after Dr. Kalam. This also forms the naval part of India's nuclear triad. The first missile in the series, K-15, also known as Sagrika or B-05, has a range of around 750 kilometers to 1,500 kilometers. This missile is in production by now. The next missile in the series, K-4, is also tested several times and it is now ready for series production and induction in the Indian Armed Forces. It has the range of 3,500 kilometers. Other missiles in the series include K-5 with the range of 5,000 kilometers to 6,000 kilometers and K-6 with range of 6,000 kilometers to 8,000 kilometers. Both K-5 and K-6 are in development. All of these missiles are launched from the Arihant class submarines and the new much bigger S-5 class submarines, both of which are nuclear submarines. Agni P, Agni 5, Agni 6, K-5 and K-6 are all capable of multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle MIRV payloads, meaning multiple warheads can be launched on a single missile and they can reach multiple targets or multiple warheads can reach a single target. One more missile which is part of India's nuclear triad is the Shaurya missile. Shaurya is a hypersonic surface-to-surface medium-range ballistic missile. It has the range of 700 kilometers to 1,900 kilometers. And like Agni, it can also be launched via canisterized transporter erector launcher or an underground silo. Although it is said to be a ballistic missile, Shaurya has all the capabilities of a hypersonic cruise missile. It travels at Mach 7.5, seven and a half times the speed of sound within the atmosphere. It can maneuver to mitigate enemy anti-ballistic missile systems. Hence, it is a nuclear-capable hypersonic cruise missile. All of these missiles are indigenously developed by Indian scientists and they are for the defense of the nation. Our Indian scientists have achieved tremendous success in every field, be it in the space sector or defense sector. As we celebrate Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, 75 years of independence, we also celebrate our leaps in science and technology, and most importantly, the journey of independent India, Swatantra Bharat, Azad Hindustan, from a British colony to a global superpower. In the 18th century, rockets used by Tipu Sultan, an Indian emperor of Mysore, were the most developed and most lethal missiles of the era. Today, Indian missiles are still one of the most developed missiles in the world. The era might change, the times might change, but the topmost place of the Indian missiles will never change. Thanks for watching my video.